I think that kind of then addressing the second question we're trying to a- answer here, which is, is there a sense that a narrow family mission can can subtly create disunity in a family team? In other words, like let's say Robert Ir- Irwin is super excited about dad's mission, but you know there's another son or another daughter or who who they're not as called to that. And do they feel like a less a part of the family? Do they feel like less attached? I think there's a legitimate conversation around how do we make sure that we're not creating a a culture in our family that really tilts the family culture towards certain children who feel like they really belong and certain kids who feel like they belong less. The way that we try to combat that as a family is we basically say, look, guys, here are some family missions that we feel called to. Like our family, there's three in particular that we're very zeroed in on, you know, restoring the biblical bl- blueprint of family, getting to a thousand disciple making households in Cincinnati and blessing Israel through unique assignments God's giving our family in the Middle East. Those are three things that constantly are coming up, we're feeling called to, and we're engaging our kids in. Part of what I want to communicate to each of my children is that's just the beginning. Like that's what our generation feels called to. And if any of you guys want to pick up any of those batons, please join us. But man, if God gives you another mission, we're all going. We're all going to support you. And we're going to leverage the resources of the family to the same degree we, as we possibly can to maximize that God-given mission you're given. Now, while we have these unique missions, we're all we're trying to inspire every single member of our family to be fruitful and multiply both physically and spiritually. And that actually comes first. Like to me, even before these kind of more unique missions that our family feels called to, I'm not comfortable with any assignment that is going to somehow compromise our ability to be fruitful and multiply physically or spiritually. In other words, to either have children and grandchildren and to have spiritual children and grandchildren to make disciples who make disciples. So that's how I kind of try to resolve the problem of having this powerful family mission that might subtly create some disunity. 